It only took four years and a fever to make me realize I should have never stopped indie bit. After watching the whopping three episodes and a special, I've decided to throw myself back into the fray with a game that touches a little too close to my Midwestern heart. As a card-carrying citizen of Iowa, you're ingrained with two values by right of birth. One, you must have an unhealthy love of corn. And two, you must have a healthy fear of cornfields. One of our state's favorite pastimes is creating intricate designs for people to lose themselves and possibly die in corn mazes. Which is what brings me to the comedy indie game, Maze. Originally, I had no interest in the game because it looked like another fleeting attempt to cash in on the current influx of mediocre to midland horror games. I've already experienced horror perfection in Silent Hill 2 and rubbed greasy palms against PT before it was aborted. Among the sleep stole my money and a disgusting has-been known as Resident Evil somehow coerced a slumbering erection from my depths. These are trying times. But I found myself repeatedly drawn back to Maze and realized it's not even tagged as horror. It's an adventure game about sentient corn and your journey to unravel the mysteries of a strange farm. You might consider that a spoiler, but that's just the beginning. And here is my conceit. I originally stopped playing Maze for three weeks, about an hour into the game. Because the first hour is, in my strong opinion, boring trash. My review almost went unfinished because it dragged on with no real direction and I figured that was how the rest of the game would be. How wrong I was. I apologize for believing there was no character to the game. I apologize for assuming its humor was contrived and dull. The agony of simple puzzles and apparently lazy design early on deceived me into a false sense of mediocrity. Maze is a game of repetition. The simple puzzles early on lay the foundation for solving more elaborate problems. While repeating the same jokes over the course of three hours can easily backfire, more often than not I found the continuation of a running joke to be the strongest point of the comedy. Without wading into spoilers, two of the characters only exist in the form of sticky notes, either berating or ignoring the other. Try it, you ignorant slut! And they end up being some of the more thickly developed characters without ever speaking or appearing, which is no small feat. There are still major issues with the game, however. First of all, the load times. I'm not sure if it's trying to load the entirety of the world, but it felt like it. Luckily, these massive time sinks only occur at the beginning of Maze, and right at its climax, which shattered all of the tension and intrigue the story had built. At times I felt like the game couldn't hold my hand tighter, then I'd be all alone with no guidance whatsoever. That being said, for such an oddball premise, the story still managed to surprise and amaze me. By the end, I had thoroughly enjoyed the experience. If I had to give Maze a score, it'd probably be 82 out of 100 pennies, but I do believe this is a hit or miss title. You'll either fall in love with its campiness or roll your eyes into oblivion. Maze was developed by Finish Line Games and is currently available on Humble Store, Steam, and GOG for $20. Hi, my name's Michael and I am the voice in this video. I just wanted to stop in, scare you with my face again, <laughs> and say to the very few amount of people who stay subscribed to me after four years and countless amounts of stupid videos I made for my friends, for some reason you're still here, whether you're completely inactive or you're hoping that eventually one day I will realize the potential of this channel and start making quality content again. Well, you're in luck because here I am. And I just want to say thank you so much for the people who are watching this after four years of me disappearing and to the new people who are seeing this. Thank you so much. Make sure to spread the word, share it, subscribe, like, all the shit that everyone always bothers you on YouTube about, I would greatly appreciate it. Probably more than the people with millions of subscribers because I just woke up from a cryogenic sleep and I am in desperate need of catching up. What else? There was something else that I needed to say. I'm gonna remember it the moment I hit stop. I need to feed my dog pills. You can also follow me on social media. Right now, I'm only focused on Twitter, barely. Uh, you can find me at Outer Halls, O-U-T-E-R-H-A-L-L-S. It'll be down at the bottom of the screen or somewhere. Uh, you can also find my other channel on YouTube, which is just starting out, also called Outer Halls. Thank you again. I know I've said it a million times, but thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Friends together in all kinds of weather. Hail, 